I'm going to take you through my training for today. Uh, I've got a four hour ride on the card and then a gym session later, so it'll be quite good and hopefully the weather's going to be perfect. So yeah, having my breakfast now, which is oats with uh, cocoa, nuts, peanut butter, and yeah, I'll get this down maybe before eight o'clock and then I'll get on the road by half nine and hopefully it'll be all down by then, but yeah. Stick around and I'll show you what I get up to. Specialized Diverge 2021. Uh, I will have a bike check that is coming. Uh, I've had it for a few weeks. There's a few parts still that I need to sort out. But yeah, it is so good. I've been riding this basically non stop. It is such a nice build. It's going to be sunny today, so remember my sun cream so I don't get burned. Wahoo. Oh, please. Bottles. Nuts. And tools in my swap box. Let's go. So today's route is kind of a lollipop. Heading out through Falkirk, Bonnie Bridge. So the Camsies do a loop there. And then back the same way. And it should be about four hours. And there's a fair amount of gravel in it, which is good. And yeah, the efforts today, so the first part of my efforts is three 10 minute efforts. Uh, those are broke down into one minute threshold, eight minute zone three at a set cadence, and then one minute threshold, and that makes up the 10 minutes. Uh, so the first cadence session, the first 10 minutes, the cadence will be at low, low cadence, 50, 60 RPM. The next one will be high cadence for the eight minutes. And the final one will just be race cadence, normal, natural pedaling cadence. So that's the first part of the session. So the second part of the session is a sprint set. Uh, so it's 10 times eight second sprints, starting from a really low RPM, about 30, 40 RPM. And in those sprints, alternating from standing to seating, seated. Uh, so yeah, it's a good mix session. A bit of high intensity with the threshold, but Overall, it's more about the kind of cadence work and the, those kind of neuromuscular connections that are super important. And yeah, I'm gonna make it interesting by doing some gravel as well, but all of the efforts will be on the road. So the road out and then the road back and then keep me interested. I'm gonna go off a big gravel climb. But yeah, it's really warm today. We've had insane weather the last few days in Scotland. Today is more cloudy, but it's still like 22 degrees already which is madness. But uh, yeah, looking forward to today. And I've got a gym session later, which I'm not a big fan of, but we'll get it done. And yeah, hopefully we get some good views today out on the hills. So today is my first day back training proper after a well-earned rest week. So I've been going through a pretty consistent training box. And yeah, today's first day back after rest week. So the glutes are feeling a bit stiff. But that's all right, I'm getting them spinned out and I've already done 20 minutes, so I'll start the first effort soon. The roads are much busier, notably busier, but I'll be off the big roads soon and onto back roads, so that'll be good. But I'll see you after the first effort. Okay, first effort done. One minute threshold, eight, eight minutes zone three at 50, 60 RPM. Then one minute threshold. That went all right. Definitely feeling my glutes. Gonna need to stretch them out because they are tight. Uh, but yeah, low cadence effort done now. It's the high cadence one next. I think I definitely prefer the low cadence stuff. The high cadence stuff. I'm just not very good at it, so I don't really enjoy it as much, but something to work on, I guess. So yeah, just about to turn into Karen Valley. And yeah, five minutes easy in between and then get on with the next 10 minute effort. There's no sun out today, but it's actually a lovely temperature to ride a bike in. Not much wind, 
and about 20 degrees, so cannot complain. Oh, number two done. That was the eight minutes at zone three was about 110 to 120 cadence. Yeah, that feels quite a lot harder for me. Uh, average power from the 10 minutes was 275. Uh, yeah, well good. Just climbing up Karen Valley now. I think my next 10 minute effort I'm gonna do on the gravel because the cadence for the middle section is race pace cadence, which for me is like 90 RPM. So that'll be good to do off road. And then we've got some sprints. Yeah, it's warm. What's the Wahoo saying? 17 degrees, but not much wind, so it's feeling hot. Gonna have a snack now as well because I've been going for about an hour, so. Oh, gee, oh, gee. Shock 2.0 never gets old. So cool. Right, onto the gravel now. So third and final effort of this one. Here we go. Okay, last 10 minute effort done. I think I got a bit excited on the gravel and I average power was a bit higher but that's all good. So yeah, we're riding through Karen Valley Forest for a little bit and then we drop down to Fintry and we're heading around to Gargana next. And I think I'll do my sprint after Fintry. And we should be good. Absolutely lovely riding in the trees today. Nice and calm. No one about. And on this awesome bike, it just handles everything. The tires are pretty hard right now, but even then, like, I've got grit, it's comfortable. And I just rode here on the road at 30 k's an hour. Like, it's my ultimate do it all bike. It's like exactly what I want in a bike for training and riding. And it makes me smile, which is awesome. So. now I'm gonna start my sprints just on the way out of Fintry so I've got eight ten second sprints starting at low revs and then getting on the gear as quickly as possible and every other one is is uh, in the saddle and out the saddle so yeah I'll pop my camera down on the road for the last one so you can see see what I'm doing but yeah it's a relatively short recovery in between so yeah it's, it's quite a short short thing Get it. So, sprint's done. Definitely not my favorite thing to do. I'm not a fan of sprints, but I can feel myself getting better at them, so that's positive. So now I'm heading towards Gargano, so I'm on this lovely little back road. It's pretty rough, but obviously totally fine on this bike. Um, and then we're gonna go up, back into the campsies a bit for some more gravel, basically. Hello, sheep. Excuse me. Excuse me. So yeah, and the sun has come out to join me. It is beautiful out here. Look at that ridge line. Just did this awesome little sector of like downhill gravel. I couldn't film it because I was riding it. But yeah, it was great fun. Some awesome bits around here. And now I'm on this beautiful country lane through the hedges. 
So let's go Garnock now. Next thing is going up that. Oh yeah. Insane climb. Man, I, was, I should have taken the camera out, but I was just hanging. Like, it was so steep. I think on Strava it says it's like 10% for 3, 4k. So, relatively solid. So, where you can't see, it basically just drops off and you zigzag up that. And then, that's the top up there. But yeah, unreal views today. There's um, the Mayat and the Ockles. And that's the Trossics. Unreal. And it was roasting hot. I was like absolutely boiling going up that climb. But it took 17 minutes of just solid climbing. So now I'm going over there and heading down to Canberra Stone. Yeah, really enjoying this ride today. Really happy I've come up this trail. And it's good I've found another solid gravel climb that I can link up on my big days. So. Very good. Okay, so that way is up to the wind farm and that way is over to Canvas Barn. So we're gonna go down this very narrowly descent. <laughs> Couldn't come by this lovely reservoir and not go without a dip. So I'm gonna go cool off. It's not every day you can go for a wild swim on your efforts pretty cool that was so nice right back to it is where I descended off just then. I'm already totally dry. It's so warm today. Yeah, that was absolute magic. So I enjoyed that. So 34 k's to go now. Just an hour back home with a tailwind. And we'll be sweet. <laughs> just heading into Falkirk. Starting to spit with rain. How bizarre. We haven't had rain for what feels like ages. Hopefully it doesn't get any heavier. I don't have a rain jacket. Just coming back in towards home, about five minutes ago. I've had my head down for the last half an hour, just using the tailwind and getting home. So yeah, not far to go in that before I was sick. Wow. On the dock. Yo. Right, make up recovery shake, have a shower, and then have a lunch. Mm. Hey, got my food, avocado on toast with baked beans and spinach uh, so yeah I'm gonna sit in my bed, eat that and watch YouTube so after a ride and after lunch I usually just sit in bed for a few hours watch YouTube post Instagram stories on the ride and just relax sometimes I'll sleep if I'm really tired 
Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I need a nap today, but we'll see. And then we'll get back at it at maybe five o'clock in like an hour, so I'm gonna do that. Cause I'm tired. Right. I've been laying in bed far too long. Um, and I gotta do my 34 minutes, 30, 40 minutes worth of core, and then have my tea. I'm tired. This is the hardest part of the day because I hate core, and I've just got into this kind of sleepy, mopey phase. So get up and go get it. It's also raining, um, so I definitely got out in the best part of the day. So start off with a little stretch routine, just to loosen up. Feel quite stiff. Got quite a tight. Um, quad and sprints today, so I might roll that out as well. And we'll move on to some just a few core exercises just to keep me strong and keep stability up. Also, working with, on the glutes as well, keep the glutes strong and you know, good, help prevent the injuries and, and keep strong on the bikes. Stretching. was with the roller you couldn't really see it at that angle um, so I hope you able to see here but it's you could do it with an exercise ball or anything really but as long as it's light basically going down on your back trying to keep your back straight and then you're passing a foam roller between your hands and your feet and you're just trying to keep your core solid I'm dead though now oh I'm not gonna lie, that core is definitely a massive hatred of mine and stretching. I'm really bad at it. I do not enjoy it at all. I mean, I enjoy the feeling of when I get it done, but a lot of the time that's not enough to make me do it. So I'm not very good at doing it, but that's fine. I'm working on it. But yeah, glad that's done. I'm gonna do a bit of foam rolling now just to roll out my glutes and use this as well, which gets right in right in the bum. Try and loosen up and stuff. You know, glad that's done and I don't have to do that for another few days. So I'm gonna go have tea now because mum has made a lovely tea. meal done for today. It is 20 to 10. I'm just about to brush my teeth. Soulmate is connected. So that's pretty much me done for the day. Uh, it's 20 to 10 and I'm just gonna brush my teeth and then get into bed. Uh, I've got my stuff out for tomorrow. Uh, I'm doing four hours mountain bike with Sean in the Pentlands. So that'll be good fun. Uh, I've got some sprints and stuff to do in that mountain bike ride as well. Um, so yeah, I've got relatively early start tomorrow, so just helps to get things out the night before. And yeah, hope you've enjoyed a more kind of comprehensive look at my training days in lockdown. Uh, that's pretty much everything I showed you is why I ate, uh, obviously food on the bike and carbs in my bottles and stuff. Um, and yeah, going to bed now and get ready for tomorrow's, tomorrow's session, so hope you've all enjoyed it. Uh, remember to subscribe so you know when I post videos and yeah, hope you're all doing good. Thank you for watching.